Hello everybody, welcome back to Rome 2 Total War Athens Campaign with me Alex and here we are being attacked by the Cantabri with their nearly 6,000 man army against my more or less 2,500 man army as well. Now I've got a small garrison force that's pretty much not going to be used so we're going to be focusing on our pikemen because they have relatively light infantry, no upgrades in any of the troops actually none of the troops have any upgrades at all so these are all brand new fresh recruited troops without any experience whatsoever so we have the advantage there we also have upgraded armor and weapons they do not so hopefully um, our combination of upgrades will um, make up for the lack of numbers that we have now I'm not sure if we've got stone walls yet I didn't actually have a look at the map I was too busy looking at the unit cards I can't really remember. I think we have stone walls now. I mean, looking at the layout of the city on the map here, I think we find. I think Carter Dash has finally uh, got stone walls. <clears throat> so that should be very much in our favour. Although the the power bar was very very much against us, it was like 90% in their favour because of the num sheer num weight of numbers they have. So. If it is stone walls though, or even if it was wooden walls, we have burning oil. So there goes a few hundred of their men just from the oil. Yes, we have stone walls. Fantastic. Uh, Okie dokie. What are we going to do? So, I imagine they would split these, maybe two and two or three and one. I'm going to guess that. I'm going to guess that these three here are probably going to go down there. This one might come up here. Or at least two of them are going to hit this wall down here by this gate. So, um, I think if we put our slingers primarily on this wall, defensive positions. Um, like that. Understood, we'll put <coughs> a unit of hoplites in the middle to use as. Um, Deterrent against any against the infantry they send up the ram uh, the ladders. Let me put <coughs> slingers on there. So let's move them around a bit further. That's better. And then we have so another unit of hoplites there. Some slingers in the middle there, and then this unit of slingers. I don't know what I'm going to do with this unit. I might put it on this side for the moment. <clears throat> it feels like I've got something stuck in my throat. I don't know what it is. One second, guys. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. And then this hoplite unit. I'm not sure where we're going to put it. Maybe we'll put. Well, we'll put them over here just as like a reinforcement unit. So the enemy army is there. I'm assuming the reinforcements will come from that side because, well, the, the, on the map they seem to be coming from that way. One, two, three, four, five. So I have slicks. Uh, slicks. I have six hot plate uh, pikemen. You know what? I might put these slingers. Actually, no. I'll leave the slingers there. If for some reason the enemy seem to be coming from this direction, I can always put this slinger over here, move a couple of pikes down there. So what I might do is set up with two pikes on each of these two gates, and then just have two pikes, say, in this crossroads point here. That way, if the enemies come from that way and they all try and go down one gate, I could just send them around there to reinforce while I bring the other pikes around. Or, if this army attacks these two gates and the third army comes around this way, I could use my pikes to slow them down at that gate as well. So, I think that's probably the best course of action. So, if I put pikemen. all but two of my pikemen into pike formation, Form and then just do a typical V shaped pike wall formation, pikemen. might need to. Do it a bit more like this. Orders. There we go. So they'll come charging through, getting burned by oil and running into my pikemen. Lovely, that's them too. These guys up here. Pikemen. That'll 
do. So that's those guys. And then, <coughs> excuse me, these two pikemen can stay here. That's a good point. And my general... See, now I'm, I am expecting the majority of them to try and come down through this gate. So if I keep my general behind the wall so he's out, he doesn't get hit by stray arrows that fly over, but close enough so that his influence affects, the en uh, affects our troops. Okay, so that's them right now. My garrison... Uh, my garrison... I'll just get them to stay in the town centre because they're not going to be any use for me at all. Not yet. Um, and then I'll have maybe a unit cavalry there. Let's put my pikes here though. Actually, let's get them out of the way and have the other cavalry unit there. That way they can send one out. I can send one out that way, one out this way when we break the enemy. Hopefully. Uh, okay, so that's. Make those pikes group one with the general. We'll then make all my hoplites on the wall group two, all my slingers group three, cavalry group four, those pikes group five, and then these guys all group six. And voila! So, whereabouts are the enemy reinforcements going to be coming from? Ah, coming from directly behind. Beautiful. That's perfectly fine. There's still a chance that they could just, uh, instead of coming directly in front of us, they could go around this mound this way and attack this gate. There's still that possibility, but at the moment, it looks like they're coming directly at us. So, if that's the case, then excellent. That's a fort wall. I don't, exactly, I don't know why there's this gate here. There's no towers to defend it or anything. It's just... It's this gate's defense solely relies on the use of the terrain combined with slingers. And we're going to experience a little bit of frame rate because of the uh, a little bit of a frame rate problem because of the sheer number of uh, men that's coming onto the battlefield. I probably won't even be able to zoom in on um, the gates when there's the actual conflicts going on, which is going to be a shame. But you can already see the frame rates having a little bit of an issue. But the camera can still move perfectly fine, so it's just the men on the battlefield. Doo -doo -doo. Hold your ground, boys. Gonna be a long day. Hopefully, once we start killing off large numbers of the enemy troops, the uh, frame rate won't be too much of an issue. Right, you shoot them. You guys are shooting them. That's fine. You guys are aiming directly at a unit that has a ladder in front of us. So you hit the angle. Poor frame rate. Poor, poor frames. We're certainly causing a few casualties there. That's fine. Start aiming that way, please. You're aiming there. You are aiming there. That's fine. Might get these two to actually hold fire in a second because I don't want to use up all their ammunition. In fact, I'm going to move these slingers out the way now. Just so that I can keep them out of the way. Command. Right, you boys, 
those. Hold fire now, please. Rest of the army coming forward yet? No, but the other one is definitely going around somewhere. They might actually be going for that third gate. I may have been right all along. And of course, the AI is just going to sort of stand around by the ladders and not do anything. Okay. Sling, damn you! Right, hold fire. Right, let's get those two pikemen over here then. There we go. We'll get this slinger unit. Across the front of the gate as well. So these guys aren't even climbing the ladder. They look like they're trying to start climbing and then just not. I think this is a. I think if I remember rightly, this is an actual glitch um, in the game that people have been encountering. So let's see if I can shoot them about. Shoot these guys down. Try and get them to route or something. I don't know. So what's my ammunition like at the moment? Pretty good. Go pikes, go! Oh, that is a lot of people for two pikemen to hold off. That should be an interesting battle over by that gate. Okay, now the rest of them are on the move. You hold fire. You hold fire. Okay, they're all coming up the center. None of them going to come down to this gate. Are they all going around? If that's the case, then this is not good. Oh, finally, you're on your move down there. That's a bit of a long... Took a long time to get down there. Form up a pike wall. So. Ah. Looks like they were just lining themselves up for some reason along the ridge. So we've got inbound enemy slingers. Oh. I don't slings are shooting at my men up here. Um, get off the wall, hoplites. I don't want you on there. If you're going to get shot at. Oh, my poor computer and the frames. There's just there's, there's, there's like 8,000 at least. 8,000 people on this on this map Fire! plus the terrain plus the city it's just I'm surprised it's actually running as well as it is that's pretty good going I mean if this was in like medieval 2 or Rome 1 or something this would be just a this would just be devastating to the computer <laughs> right let's get uh, let's take one pikeman from here. Put him there. I will also take my general around there as well. It looks like most of them are going to come in through that side. Probably should have done that a little bit sooner, but Best never mind. Why are you walking? Stop walking. Just run, please. What are 
are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Get over here. Jeez. Did not tell you to stop. By no means are you to stop. <laughs> They're certainly trying to burn through this gate, and they're going to lose a lot of men doing it. That is for Hot sure. Players. And why are my hoplites still not off the wall? Get down here, you idiots. Ready for orders. Guys, what are you doing? Get off that freaking wall. We await your command. What are you doing? Yes, I see you're taking fire, but I would love it if you could get off the wall as I commanded you to. Oh, this is this is just retarded. General is under attack. No, he's not. It's just stray bullet fire. Oh pelt fire whatever five of you have died because you refused to get off this wall okay fine you know what just get down on that wall then and I'll get you off through the gate down there because you're being an absolute pain in my ass right now Spearman, the ready. At your <clears throat> take aim Orders. take aim What is going on with this computer? Why are you stopping my men? Why do you keep stopping? I'm not touching any of my controls to tell them to stop. I just tell them to go and they're supposed to just move. And yet for some reason they refuse to do anything. Why? Just run. Why are you going there? I told you to go here. Or at least somewhere in this area. So not only are they not doing what I'm telling them to, including this unit who still refuses to get down here. So not only are they not doing what I'm telling them to, but they're in fact doing completely different orders. Oh my god, this is just stupid. You guys are just getting pelted to death right now. And you know what? I'm gonna you can I'm leaving you on the wall. You can suffer the fate that you've brought upon yourselves. You disobeyed me, and therefore you will suffer your own consequences. No! Now we'll just get them to shoot into the main bulk of the units there. We've done quite a lot of damage there already. Oh look, you'll happily take up formation on this wall, won't you? Because you're already there, but you refuse to run on of head down to the next location. Let's see if they'll actually do anything this time. Probably not, but hey. These guys aren't even getting off the wall. Okay, CA, you really need to get this game sorted out because right now I'm encountering so many glitches in all to do with the walls as well. Units on walls just don't like to mix, apparently. ready! See, I managed to get one slinger unit down there, so it does work to some degree. But apparently only when the computer wants it to work. So they're not attacking my gate anymore. Well, that's a mistake for them, isn't it? Pikeman, seriously. I don't know. I Honestly, guys, I have no idea what is going on right now. I don't know why this is not doing exactly what I tell it to or anything like that. Um, hmm. Okay, you know what? If you. Why? See, I, I have a feeling it's to do with these ladders. As soon as the ladders hit, hit the wall, all the problems started. 
I never had any of these issues before the enemy ladders reached the wall. I mean, you saw, I got one of my slingers down to the third gate. I managed to get these guys over to this area of the wall to get away from that ladder. And now, as soon as the ladder has hit the wall, all kinds of problems are happening. In the sense that no one seems to want to do what I tell them to. Now that time that was my fault because I accidentally told them to go that way instead of shoot that way. So that one was my fault. But all these other times. I'm not seeing any cavalry. I thought their generals were cavalry units, but I'm not seeing any. Oh, there they are. That's well, there's one. Oh, and the other one was noble fighters. Whoops. So there's one cavalry unit and one infantry unit. Okay. Look at all those pelts just flying into the pile. Let's see. They have 49 minutes to break into my city. So far, they've probably lost. They must have lost at least five, six hundred men just trying to get in. And there goes another unit there. I don't even need this hoplite unit on the. Well, I might keep him on there actually. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk the battle just because I think I don't need him on the wall. I don't need this one on the wall. I can bring him off. If he'll come off the wall. Is this unit going to come off the wall? Is he? He's reached the tower. Or is he just going to stop right on the edge of the tower? He's going to stop because he's a douche. They are all douches. Look, half of them are in... Most of them are in like half step. Yep, they're confused because they suck balls. So, looks like I am down to whatever I have on the ground, which is just pikemen and my general. Ugh, sieges in this game have really... I mean, the sieges in this game have now gotten worse to what they used to be. There used to be glitches in sieges, don't get me wrong, but now it's just full-on... I have no idea what. Aim low, you bastards. Aim low. And it's always to do with the ladders. It's always the ladders. Eyes front. Worry about <clears throat> them. Nothing Your else. orders. Uh, guys, I'm telling you to. Ah, oh, never mind. Those units are out of range now. Well, they managed to damage my gate to 86%, so I don't know why they didn't carry on. There's just loads of men at the gate. What are they doing? Balance of power is more equal. These guys are all exhausted. Look, they're marching with their heads down. They're exhausted. They keep running backwards and forwards. Alright, well, you guys better just shoot those two units then. Kill these guys off. Their slingers are still shooting at my wall. Down to we lost thirty men now on that wall. Slingers. See if I can line these guys up Come properly. At least line up, please. Wiped out quite a few of their slingers. 87, 84. So we'll get one to shoot the eighty-four. Yeah, you lined up. Okay, that's fine. You guys shoot the 84. The other one's shooting the 87. Sorry, that's now down to 83. <clears throat> also damaging that uh, spearman unit, which is good. So you're killing three birds with two stones. <laughs> this slinger unit is just doing nothing. Can you get up onto that part of the wall? Can you line up on there? Or can you only line up on the wall that you're currently standing on?
Well, this battle is certainly turning out to be interesting. The frame rate seems to have improved a l very slightly. Not You probably can't notice it, but I can tell it's improved a little bit from all the dead units on the ground. So these guys are finally pushing their ladder forward because I damaged the other one. They are losing so many men. They haven't even reached the wall yet. Oh, 92, 91, 90, that's 70 men they've lost now. Are these slings out of ammunition? They are. Ooh. I wonder if these guys can get off the wall. Nope, doesn't look like it. I suppose then if my units can't get off the wall, they can't get on, surely. Well, they if I can't get off the wall, then they can get on but not get off as well. Also, we've set... That ladder's still on fire. Why haven't we, sh why haven't we set fire to that ladder properly yet? To be fair, they haven't exactly been climbing the ladders properly. Oh, look, now they're climbing ladders. Look, they're climbing ladders. Oh my god, it's a miracle. Oh, no, 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 just the one. Just the one guy. Very brave. Very foolish, but very brave. Oh, and he got shot off. <laughs> it's, <coughs> it's like, I will do this for Kantara. And off the ladder he falls. That was a really cool death impression. Did you like my death impression? Yeah, I should be a voice actor. <laughs> I'll be the British villain. So many Brits are villains. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure why it is. I guess. I don't know. Like in a, I'm not. I'm in a lot of American and British actually. A lot of, in a lot of American and British TV uh, dramas or films as well. Actually, there's always a Brit is always well not always but. A lot of the time, a Brit is the bad guy. I don't know if it's maybe something to do with the way, it, the way we sound when we talk, or is it to do with the character? I don't know. If you guys have any ideas why Brits are always a popular choice for villains, Americans obviously are as well. But like, you see a lot of Brits as the bad guy. So I don't know. I don't know why that is. If you know why that is, let me know, please. I'd be interested to know. I'd love to do voice acting. That'd be fun. Oh, damn, I'm out of ammunition there as well. Is this unit f still firing? That's out of ammunition. It's just my tower, isn't it? Yes, it is. But at least my tower is killing off the noble fighters. 151. 149. So they still get one hit kills more or less maybe not every single time but a lot of the time they seem to get one hit kills that's good but there's just carnage down here this ladder still getting shot at a little bit as one tower tries to, or as the towers try to shoot or well, that one specifically tries to shoot this unit it hits the ladder as well is it able to tell me how much damage is taken or not no it's not I was hoping if I left my, my cursor over the ladder it would actually bring up the little box underneath do, do, do. 23, uh, there we go, 58% damage, 16. Now what are they doing? This army over here is not doing anything. Hey, come on guys, it's been seven minutes, what is going on? So far you've barely even dented my defence. In fact you haven't even dented my defence, that's how bad this is. <laughs> Tell you what, let's move. <coughs> my hoplite's there. We'll have these slingers form up there in auto fire. 
You guys in auto fire as well, or fire at will, whatever you want to call it. Then my slings won't be in range of anything, but it's just cool to have them there in auto in fire at will. So basically, my towers are doing all the work right now. So that ladder's at 33%, this one's at 60%. Are we going to get some damage on this ladder a bit more? A bit more damage, come on. That'd be great. If I could get some more damage on the ladder. Come on. It's at 60%. Why won't you damage it more? Shoot the, hit the ladder accidentally as they run past it, please. That's all I ask. Actually, there's only three units. They've brought their entire force here forwards, and then they've sent three units. A fourth unit's going in. Fourth unit. They're finally going to tuck the gate a bit more now. 86% fire damage. Oh, look at that. They've, they've attacked. They've attacked, people. Things are starting to develop. 100% damage to the gate. Oh, aren't you guys amazing? You've finally broken the gate. Now you just have to get past all my pikemen. Considering you've lost practically half your force already. From pissing about outside. My, lad, my towers are still shooting them. <coughs> Excuse me. Take a good drink of water while this is going on. 74. Also, we've got burning oil on my gatehouse, so, you know. There goes a few more, a few hundred more. Hopefully, probably not a few hundred, maybe a couple of hundred, because by the time they actually gates are actually destroyed. Oh look, they're finally moving in. Are these guys going to start moving as well? They were going to run across the front. Yay! This is the main force now. That one was to begin with, and now it's this one. So there's the oil. That's it. Just walk on through. Don't walk on through at all if you want. Doesn't bother me. Look, they're not even coming through the gate. <laughs> this is this isn't a battle, this is a slaughter. All you gotta do is take one more step inside to start neutralizing the flag. You can just stand there if you really want to, but this is quite possibly the funniest siege. This is both the most funniest siege and the most annoying siege. The most annoying siege because I'm not getting to do I'm not being able to do much here. Oh, 51%, okay, they're attacking that one. I'm not getting to do much here other than control my slingers when I when they had ammunition. The rest is being done by the tower. Now they've finally broken through, okay. So then they just stood by the gate, got burning oil poured all over them. Now they finally made it into the city and are being stabbed in their guts by my pikemen. This is just re this is really weird. Let's just, let's just leave the camera here for a minute and just watch and see what why what's happening. I mean, look at all the flags flashing white right now. Well, there goes their force. I could send my cavalry out now and actually run them down if I wanted, I guess. But they've still got one or two units there. Swordsmen, admittedly, but still. My gate there's on fire now. Interesting. Go, 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 go. Let's bring my cavalry. This cavalry unit. Um, I'm going to leave it here. I'll charge it through that gate after those guys.
finally getting some action in here now. Cavalry back, maybe that will entice the enemy to move forward. Oh, lost three cavalry, that's fine. Oh, looks like they're trying to march in further into the city. Gates down over here as well. Uh, looks like they're sending a general this way. Oh, my slingers are funny uh, getting to shoot over this side, that's cool. Take a few of them out, not too many, but a few, it's enough. Pikemen are bracing and ready there. Pikemen over here are getting some fun. Okay, cavalry can now charge on through without any issues. Okay then. Whoa. 47 men lost for 4,333. 4, that is quite possibly the smallest number of losses for the biggest number of kills I think I've ever had in this game. One slinger unit got 330, another 259, another one got 223, another one got 134, the other got 70. Well, that's just pathetic. So basically, my combined kills were probably around the 1,000 mark. Nearly over, nearly three and a half thousand kills were by the towers and the gates. Mostly the towers, pretty much all the towers. That is incredible.